color that you, you want to have. Okay, the uh, sample that we're going to be running into the boiling flask here, I am going to use a 20 milliliter pipette to put in a 20 milliliter quantity of 20 milliliters. And again, we make up to the mark, take this and put it into the boiling flask, and I just let it sit there to drain out into the, the flask itself. Okay, now that we have the, the wine sample in the boiling flask, and incidentally this is a Sauvignon Blanc, an 07 from the Livermore Valley, it's best to go ahead and put the impinger in the uh, other part of here together and then we're going to take 10 milliliters of the phosphoric acid and we're going to pour it in here so again 10 milliliters of the phosphoric acid again this is a fairly strong acid so be careful with it if you get some on your hands wash it off and you, again this doesn't need to be exact but 10 milliliters is what you want And then you can put it in through the side arm. And then once you've done that, you want to take this bubbler stem and put it in quickly so there's no SO2 that starts coming out that way. And once you have that in, and what I normally do is then you can twist it around a little bit so you can get a better uh, insertion here with the air pump. And then you switch on the air pump. I have a uh, switch that I put on mine just to make it easier to, without having to reach back and forth and plug and unplug the uh, uh, apparatus. And if you get this going, the next thing you want to do is adjust the air flow with this little flow uh, device here. And what I suggest you do is shoot to get the bubbles up about halfway inside this collector tube. So we could probably bring it up a little bit more, and that's about where we want to see. Now you see where it's turned already from the green to the purple color, and that again is because the free SO2 is coming over, going down in there, and being oxidized by the uh, hydrogen peroxide. So we let this go for 15 minutes, and then we'll come back and do the analysis. The other thing you want to make sure is that the, the bubbler's tube itself goes all the way down, almost to the bottom of the flask. So check that, and if it needs to be adjusted, go ahead and make that adjustment. <laughs> After the 15 minutes, what you want to do is turn off the pump, but you immediately want to pull the pump stopper here out because once the pump stops, it starts pulling a vacuum and you're going to start pulling some of the uh, stuff here in the boiling flask up and into the tube. So make sure you don't have to take it all the way out, but just break the uh, seal on it. Okay, and then once you've done that, you can take the impinger part off and take the collection cylinder out and then I'm going to turn this around to do the titration. Now the kit itself comes with a burette that's this size. This is another one that I use for other titrations. I do primarily uh, on acid, uh, titratable acid. So the number one thing that you want to do to start off with is to mark down where the level is in the burette. So let me do that. Take the reading here and it's right at 17 even. So we'll write that down on a piece of paper, 17.0. And then we'll do the titration. Now, the kit does not come with a stirring bar like this. You can just take it and shake it back and forth until the color changes. 
I like to do this because I have a little bit more control on the uh, <clears throat> on the pipette here in doing it. And what I do, you go real slow until you get to the point where you're getting drops. Okay, got that going now. And so I get this where I'm getting a, a drop like every two seconds or so. And then I just keep watching it. And hopefully I can turn this so you can see. Okay? Yeah. And as soon as it starts turning just a slice amount of green, turn the pet cock back and it will end at that point. Okay, so now we've done that, we're going to go back and we're going to calculate exactly how much SO2 is in there. So I take the second reading from the burette, and that is 18 and a half. Nice to have some nice round numbers. So 18.5. And then you subtract those two numbers. The first one, the first reading I took, and then the final reading, and that comes out 1.5. So 1.5 and the factor for converting to the uh, ppm is uh, 16. So 1.5 times 16 comes out to 24 ppm. So that is how you go about determining what the SO2 is.